Mr. Brummel, nice so nice to see Leap. you. Thanks for squeezing us in. Any time. Minutes. Your party's uh, waiting. Oh. Okay. Yep. Follow me. Five minutes. Good. She comes. Oh boy. Josh. Oh. Hi. Mom. Uh oh. Josh. This is my girlfriend, Emily. Hi. It's Hi. a pleasure to finally meet you, Linda. Yeah. Hey, hey. That's Ricky Rendazzo. You're in the presence of greatness, Emily. Don't forget. Adam. You look so handsome, sweetie. Oh. Thanks, Mom. Linda, why don't you take that seat over there? Oh, we can okay. flank. Excuse me. Yeah, sorry, we're a little late. Uh, <laughs> nice to see you. you're so punctual. It's okay. So, can I get you folks some drinks, sir? Would you like another martini? Uh, yeah. Why not? Keep them coming. I just have water. Yeah, me too. Water with scotch. So, um, how is Maureen's father doing? Oh, uh, not well at all. No, the uh, disease is progressing a little more rapidly than they'd anticipated. So you met Maureen? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Lots of times. <laughs> Mo's great. Yeah. Yeah, she's... Emily uh, and I have been together for almost two years. She's met the whole family. Oh. Yep. Yeah. And why aren't you wearing your ring? Your engagement ring. You two are engaged? <laughs> yes. Yep. Wow. Oh. Josh got Emily this huge conflict-free diamond. He proposed up at the lake. We were all there. It was oh. beyond gay. Yeah, it's <laughs> lovely. <laughs> so happy for you, honey. Thank you. Why didn't you tell me? Well, we we um, we wanted to keep things quiet for a while so we can uh, we can enjoy the news privately. Oh, but, but Julie said everybody was at the proposal. Did did, did this just happen? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. no. Yeah. No. Yeah. More or less. No. Yeah. It was July fourth. So that was months. No. Months ago. Okay. We all know you're going through something, but you're acting cray cray. We were planning on telling you tonight in person. Because I, I hadn't met you, and... Why don't you be honest, Josh, and just tell Mom that you don't want her at the wedding? That Would you guys is not be interested true. in oh hearing God. our appetizer specials? Oh yes. No. We're, we're practically eloping, Mom. It's going to be very small, very green. Yeah, it's not going to be a big, formal wedding like the one Julie had. Thanks for referencing that. What? Yeah? Well, thanks for this. I'm still having ambient shits, Josh, from my okay. suicide hey, attempt. Hey, hey. Do you it's really okay. want to talk it's okay. about my Go wedding? ahead. You know, it won't hurt my feelings if you decide to elope. Your dad and I eloped. It was great. Yes, it was. <sighs> yeah. So, anyway, this is wonderful, wonderful news. Thank you. Wonderful. <clears throat> hey, Adam, when are you going to settle down and get married? Who wants some appetizers? Well, Mom. Anyone? I'm gay, used to love you, Carpaccio, as you know. You can get them and treats, unfortunately, the many of my maybe, fellow gay you know, men and, still uh, can't get married. Used to love the uh, uh, I didn't go. mean to a no? man necessarily. Who would I marry then? Well, I thought you were bisexual. That was my cover story in college, like ten years ago. Two pump I'm really uh, sorry that you one, didn't stay uh, updated on my sexuality, the but the then bread. again, you didn't I'm stay starving. updated on much of anything. Am I right, guys? Huh? Okay. Okay. Really? Now that I know that you decided to say you're completely decided, gay, you are I such a homophobe. Again. See, this is what she does. She costumes herself as this edgy rocker who's cooler than all the other PTA moms. When in fact, she voted for George W. Bush twice. Yeah, I support our troops. And I'm the one with the questionable lifestyle, right? Huh? Meanwhile, she's running around California calling herself Ricky. Well. <laughs> It's a name, not a lifestyle. I was born gay. I was born Ricky. 
Touché. <gasps> this shit show is making my day. Is this whole thing just like a plea for attention as per usual, or are you actually a psychotic bitch? Hey, don't you dare call your sister psychotic. Oh my God, she's parenting. Someone get a camera. Just, just cool it. This, let's, look. It, it's a very rare occasion that we all get together like this. Your mother's here, right? I mean, I, I know, I know we, we, we've always had some, you know, issues and uh, personality conflicts, but what family hasn't? <laughs> but we are family, still. You know, let's, we can put all that crap behind us, can't we? And just appreciate the proximity. I mean, at this moment, the Brummel family and family to be is proximal. That's that's special in itself, isn't it? <laughs> I would get a bottle of champagne for the whole table. <laughs> no, that's. I, I just oh. filed for bankruptcy. So. Oh. What are we going to do today? I have therapy at noon, so I got to go wash my dick or I'll get another lecture in personal care. Why don't you skip therapy just today? Call in sick. I am sick. That's, that's why I'm in therapy. I mean, how often am I here? <laughs> Never? Honestly. It's just a shampoo and trim. You have really good hair. You just, you should like brush it. She has my hair. Ow! Oh! Not more than half an inch. I can feel how much you're cutting. Why are we so attached to our hair? Someday you're gonna find a gray hair and I don't mean on your head. <laughs> No one wants to hear about your steel wool, Mom. Look like Nosferatu. Oh, don't worry, they file them down. That's 190 on the card, and you can add whatever to. Let's leave a nice big one, shall we? just made a suggestion, you know? She listens to me. Huh. Uh, I was a bit of a jerk yesterday. I'm sorry about that. I, the market is, the, the things have been really stressful at the company. Yeah, well, you work very hard. I admire that. You do? Yep. You used to call me an uptight workaholic. <laughs> yeah, I used to call you a lot of things. But I changed the I have. I see that. I mean, I'm trying to get her to change her clothes for days. Mm. Well, sometimes a girl just needs her mother. I guess so. Mm. 